Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Jelly Billy Joe, and today I'm back with another episode of our Prison Architect Alpha 15 build, and I'm excited to get on the way with it. So, a few issues we've had so far. Uh, I'm going to open some of these doors up to let the prisoners out, because that's been one um, big issue so far. Uh, the storage thing is open, as my friend did point out, and I do need to put a door on that. Uh, so we'll put a door there so people don't start running off. And we need a yard, which he also pointed out nicely for me. And I can already tell straight away that there's going to be a riot coming soon to a movie pictures near you. So we are going to need to hopefully try and do something about that. If this just completely fails, we might have to resort to even uh, starting again, which I'm hoping it doesn't. We'll try and save it from the brink. Won't exactly be the most uh, amazing of ventures if we have to start again. Kind of poo, actually, to be honest. But we must make do, per se. And we also need, after that is built, we need a door going out to there. Now, oh, we haven't even got any cooks. That's the one thing we needed, isn't it? Oh, God. How am I supposed to get money? I need food, boys. Alright, this is a big problem. Because if they don't get food, they're going to... How could I screw up that badly? Are you serious right now? Okay, well, that was a complete fail. Um, keep that open. And take that guard in there. I don't know why, why they want you to go out there. Okay, guard, just go ahead. No. Guard, you're not opening that fucking gate for them. No. No one is opening that gate for them. What the fuck is this? Seriously. No, that guy keeps trying to open the gate and I don't want him to open the gate. This is a problem. As soon as I get out there, they're just going to peg it. Yo, bro, stop trying to open the gate, please. Fence that. Guard, stay. Okay. That's their yard time over anyway. You see, this is somewhat frustrating. Right, so when do we get a new batch of payment? 105, please say we're not taking any prisoners, that's not going to go very well. We are taking in, what, we've got 15 prisoners arriving, that ain't going to work. So we need to close off for now until we get this stuff sorted out. No, do not open the, okay, you can open the gate, I suppose. It's, it's done for now. Um, I don't know why he wants to go out there so badly, to be honest with you. That's kind of a pointless venture by that prisoner, but whatever. Uh, we do need to have a door going out onto this with 350. Which means I can't redo really it because we need to get some food in here. This is a problem. So what I might have to do is quite simply just get rid of one of the walls. Now this is a major budget prison, this. Like seriously, this is, we're having to budget like every activity we do. Now the only hope we have is if they pull their weight while they're working. Uh, but they're not going to want to do that if they're not generally very happy at how things are in the prison. Uh, and we'll get riots on our hands. And with two guards only, it's a big issue. Um, that we're probably going to have, to be honest, throughout the whole entire of this prison until we get back on our feet properly. And um, that's just generally uh, my fault. Uh, I should have budgeted this prison a lot better. I didn't have to have all this spare room and stuff like that. I shouldn't have done that. But we learn from our mistakes and we move on. I have some better prisons than this, but sometimes I make some good prisons, sometimes I don't. And this is looking to be one of those which... I've screwed up on a fair amount, per se, uh, compared to others. <sighs> I'm only making 66, so I'm not even going to... See, now this is a big problem, because now we're losing prisoners, we're going to need to take in more. And to take in more, we'd have to take 15 in. Which is not really fantastic. So what have we got? We've got free time, eat and then sleep. We're not going to be able to eat, which means they're going to get pissed off. And hopefully, if we can keep them from writing today, as soon as the rest of the batch gets here... <sighs> Just thinking how we could do this better. Um, we ain't got no grants left, I believe. Oh, ah, oh. yes. Stop, sir. Okay, so we'll stop the time there. I didn't actually realise that we had a grant left. That is a saviour and a half. On so many levels. Right. So we can staff our prison up properly now. Um, that's probably the most important thing we should do. We have the fundamental layout, so we have three cooks that we should do for now, uh, with the amount of prisons that we have. We've got two janitors and two guards, we could do, probably do two more guards, uh, because of obviously what's going to happen tomorrow when we get more people here. 
7,900 left, so we'll carry on on double speed for now. Oh, thank God for that. Wow. <laughs> that was a close one. Okay. So that's a bit of a, a saviour. Uh, what we could do really doing is put an extra capacitor on there just for now, because I'm not planning on expanding the prison as of yet, but it is important. We don't want the power tripping out because that can cause all sorts of problems in the wrong situation. Uh, so hopefully they'll all go to sleep. And we will be able to tomorrow take in some more prisoners and be fully equipped and ready to take them on. Uh, which is obviously what we need to do. So we've got storage in the back there. The reason I put that there sometimes is because sometimes the builders come all the way through the prison, put things in there, and it's good for uh, these cook guys sometimes when we have deliveries of food because sometimes they have to walk through the entire prison. But whether or not that actually works is a completely different story because... To be honest with you, I'm not really very confident in that at all. And we're losing money, which is bad. But that should remedy itself when we get some prisoners in. Now, I'm only going low prisoners for now because they come and go quite fast and they're a decent source of income. However, with the amount of cells we have, we kind of do need to knock it up. So we're going to go for normal risk. Now, it is 15 of them. So what I might actually do, you know, I'm changing my mind back and forward like hell here. But we're going to do that because hopefully that brings us down a few hundred. Um, so we're not losing that much money. Uh... It's kind of awkward, isn't it, really? Uh, I don't know if I have the manpower to... You know, okay. We'll take in medium risk and see how it goes. Because we have to make a gamble, because we have to get back in the positive cash flow. That's something we need to do. Um, more than anything, really, as of now. So we can actually build a sustainable prison. Then we can worry about having staffing numbers, etc. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to have to hire two more guys. I need six, at least. Because we think when this prison has arrived tomorrow, we're going to be looking at... Uh, what we're going to be looking at... 15 plus 7. Look at 22 prisons. So we're going to be maxed out on our cell uh, blocks of what we can actually have here. Um, which isn't great. Really, that's not really how I want it to go at all. We've got some solitary confinements there. I don't know why I didn't even label them as rooms. But it's not great. Uh, let's be honest. It's not my fun, most the most best laid out prison. It's not the most sufficient prison. But we will make do. And this is what makes this game kind of interesting. Is learning how to adapt to difficult situations. We do have 5 grand spare. To play around with as well. Uh, now, if I have a look at my utilities here, we've got power going up to there and then across. And we can use that to my advantage here because really what we need is more than one washing machine. So if we build another washing machine there, we've already got a steady supply. We don't have to bother with utilities and all that crap. So it's quite simple. So we just plop on there. We've still got 4.7k to mess around with, which is good. I'm not very good at building on a budget. Well, building on a budget, I'm not good at. But as soon as we get to the point where I'm having to play the game on the budget that I've, you know, ended up with. I, 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 I am decent at it. Now, I can build a medical ward, but I don't know what requirements are for that, so let's investigate medical ward. In fact, is that a med Yeah. A morgue, we need an infirmary. Require health, indoors and a medical bed. So they're not expensive, so we could really go for that and try and get that other 10 grand, but I don't know where I'd put that. In fact, we could probably put that in there. But really... Just trying to think where I could put my security in the future, you see. Because what I'm planning to do is expand this wing kind of downwards here. Um, and expand some another block of wings up here. And then the back here have uh, visitation and all that stuff. So and kind of go right round the edge of the path. You know, all wired off and perimeter walled uh, where the visitors can come in, etc. And the guards and can do their patrol rounds, etc. That's what, kind of what I'm planning eventually. Uh, but as you can see, the day level is increasing. And it's never a good thing when it increases. So we are going to have to uh, do, oh, we can't even do that. Okay, we do need to get some deployment things in here. That's one thing we got to do. I think that's really important to be doing right now, uh, to be honest. We do need to do contraband as well. You see, there's a lot of stuff in this area that we need to do as well. So hopefully when this business come in, we'll get somewhere near to being positive or relatively positive. Um... By the time we get our next batch, the next day we should have a lot of our uh, low-end prisoners ready to go. In fact, what we'll do now is we will invest... I can't even see the prisoners because... Wow, I'm so awesome. It's about to be dinner time. Actually, it's sleep time. They're about to wake up at 7, have a shower, then eat for an hour quickly before they start work. We'll see how the work goes. That's going to be the main kind of time where it's, it's dangerous. Especially as the prisoners arrive directly at the working time, which isn't great, to be honest. But it shall have to do for now. We are going to have to do deployment. We're going to position at least one guard in here. Um, and, you know, around that kind of area, that will do. Uh, we'll position one guard in here. 
one guard along the main corridor and the other three can just kind of uh, shammy round as they see fit to help out. So there's the three out in the front, that's good. We don't really need much security around here because of the doors and the way they're laid out, etc. That's pretty secure in itself. Uh, let's have a look at these prisoners then. So it doesn't look like we've got any uh, weapons, usually. Some, sometimes they get out the weapons as they're coming down on the trucks and you know you can kind of see. But let's see kind of what we got here. Aggravated burglary. We got some death by dangerous driving. He pleaded not get with to both. Violent disorder is going to be out pretty fast, to be honest. So it's good. It's ones that go out pretty fast that I'm interested in. Yeah, look, we've made a lot of money in that. Uh, but obviously, we can't take any more prisoners, so we're gonna have to close it off. But nonetheless, it's not too bad. Uh, we should have enough meals if we can quickly just get those last few out. We've got the cooks working hard to get the meals out there to the people. It's pretty good. Some people are already fed anyway, so we should be good on that respect. Get those fed, get them in their cells. So we've got a full cell block at the moment, but obviously... Oh, the danger of a riot is generally incre- Oh! Whoa, dude. What are you doing, bro? Okay, he's unconscious, now we've got blood everywhere. Now we're going to need to build a morgue, and to be honest with you, it's... Oh, why do you have to be such a cunt? I'll get health, then. Okay, so danger is medium. Six prisoners have serious complaints. I think that's mainly because they have to work, because then they just got here, and that causes issues, usually. Uh, which is never a good thing. And have I even... No, we need to assign jobs. That would be a good idea to do. It'll keep people interested. And we'll assign jobs here as well. And we'll just get as many people in there as we can. There we go. Okay. So that should help to keep people entertained during work hours. The deployment's pretty much finished. Come here. Yep, uh, yep okay. So we're going to position a guard in there and a guard in there. For the time being. Uh and all the rest can kind of shammy on doing what they're doing. People are not very happy. He's unconscious in his bed because obviously that's the thing to do these days. There's people working, but they're really sad about it. In fact, so sad that there's probably going to kick off any second now. Oh, Christ almighty. Ugh. Well, it's going to be an entertaining episode, I'll tell you that much anyway. The danger level is high. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm really betting right now that we're going to have to... Uh, Get some more guards in there ASAP. Another two guards should be able to contain. No, I'm not. They're not feeling the guard situation is going very well, to be honest, at all. Good guard. Oh, this is really not going to go well. Right, how long do they finish work? Oh, they're only halfway through. Right, guys, stop complaining. Come on, please. I'm struggling to think of what to do. I'm really trying to powerhouse my mind here to try and come up with a tactic or a something at least. Right, so these guys aren't really doing anything, so they're probably getting bored out of their fucking schools. Uh, they got someone helping out in the kitchen, doing some stuff there. Uh, he's unconscious, but he's been put into solitary confinement. They're dishing out the clothes, which is good. Uh, that table just... Is he tipping a table over here, or is it just me? Being... Okay. Um... Is that them producing stuff? Oh, hey, dude, calm down, man. What's wrong with you? Robbery, burglary, and perjury, mate. You been? <laughs> oh, leading a good life, huh? Leading a good life. Okay, good, good. We need to do them. Okay, so we need to go through a full day, but how is no one, like, killing each other yet? I say that now, and there'll be just be, like, a massive riot, I guarantee you. Have we got a garden here? No, we got a garden here. We got people. There we go. So these have got clean laundry and stuff, so this should go down. In theory, how it. I'm expecting any second now. This is really... For, for, they, you know, that's what they always say about this game, though. Whenever you get new prisoners, the first day is always the most um, intense, per se, when it comes to unhappiness, etc. Especially when they come at that kind of time period, because I start my work just as I get a new batch of prisoners, which is something I'll probably have to change, to be honest with you, uh, as this goes on. The danger level is high, but nothing's happened as of yet, so they can all go down in the yard. We've got some free time and some eat. So hopefully this will be okay. <laughs> I don't like them, they've been big crowds though. That's going to give us some extra money to play around with. Uh, why are you, why are you, what is the problem? What is the problem? You know, I don't know. I, need, I don't know the psychology. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. We've got two families waiting to visit. Two require medical attention, of which we cannot supply at the moment. And the danger of the prison is still going up rapidly. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Is we will 
before a fight breaks out any second we need to implement something for them to do so we will take some weights benches as they're only cheap and you know give them some weights to do something to do at least Ah, just still increasing. How has no one, like, killed another person yet? This is the highest rating I've ever had on a prison and no one's done anything. My prisons are usually quite good, so... Oh! Shit! Yo, bros! Guards! Yo, bro! Whoa, he's whacking out my guard like mad. Bang up. We need everyone back in their cells that's willing to go back in their cells, all the rest. Oh, I kind of knew that was going in. Look at that. Shit. Oh, 13. I don't give a shit if they've been locked up for no reason. You just need to stay there for now. You need to get battered, son. See, all the low people didn't do anything wrong. Why, why is it always you people, huh? Huh? Right, okay, so not the best first day in the history of the planet, I'll be honest. This is probably one of the most difficult prisons that I've had to run. <sighs> right, we'll just have to get on to repairing this stuff, so it's going to cost a lot. In fact, I don't even think we have enough money, so we need to be careful. When do we get a new day? Christ almighty, people. What is wrong with you guys? Wait for this to all get cleaned up anyway. Oh, God. Alright, we'll take Bang Up off for now. Oh, it's in sleep anyway, so. Danger level's gone all the way down, it's now low. Okay, so it climaxed to something which went a bit too far, but thankfully we've got it out of the way. And we'll be able to hopefully, there we go, we've got some money in from that. That's important. So 1.7k. Right, so. Oh. Shit. Okay. Oh, no, 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 we didn't want. Right, so. We need dogs. They're starting to tunnel out. Ah, I got it. Okay. So we need to remove that tunnel then. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to be very wary about, isn't it? Let's be honest. Okay, so... With that said now... We do... Yeah, they're starting to dig a lot of tunnels out. This is going from worse to worse. Uh, so we're going to put a perimeter fence. That's all we can afford because it doesn't actually cost anything. So if we put that there... It should help if they do get outside, like, otherwise they'll have to tunnel all the way underneath the fence, otherwise they won't be able to get out anyway. So it's just, uh, I know they can tunnel straight under it, and it's not really a good protection, but it's something which will stop them just literally pegging it across the grass and going out. Um, so for the time being, like, we'll have to do, we'll just have to build the fence. Luckily the fence doesn't cost anything. Right, so... <sighs> Danger level is low, everything seems to be going well. That's only because people are asleep, I suppose. Get up and have showers. Tell you what we'll do. We'll add an extra eat to that. Okay, so they can all go up and get showers as quickly as they possibly can. Hopefully, there's not a uh, fight in there. Should I say? We we'll need to wake them up probably a bit early because some people aren't even getting to the shower, which is a bit ridiculous. That's probably why people are getting annoyed. Should be enough meals. I'm looking. Uh, people do need treatment. Oh, that's going to piss them off, the fact they're not getting treatment. And how now we have health, we can build an infirmary. So if we put that in there, like so, and we need a medical bed. Right. I know I don't really have the money to do this, but it's important that we at least get something along the lines of medical facilities there. We do need something at least. Uh, so if we get that there, I'm going to do it for a doctor thousand we don't even have enough to get a doctor yet so we'll get the room sorted out anyway because we've got people bleeding everywhere that are like oh, that's just kind of manky should be quite honest and um, we'll deploy a guard in this section here as well so we can keep an eye on the uh, cell blocks 
at all times. It's important to do. Where are we? Okay, we're past halfway. So we're doing well to say that we're past halfway in the day. Food situation's going pretty well. We're okay with food. So what else we could do with eating a bit earlier on. So if we put eat there. And then free time. Sorry, free time there. There we go. So let's get people cooking. Get it going. There's going to be people with weapons, I can tell. So... We are going to need to be careful there because obviously we've got people working in the kitchens and all that stuff. There is obviously going to be the temptation for people to uh, pick out weapons at the end of the day and uh, go for the stab kill. Let's say. Prison uniform is damaged or is it just a red prison uniform? I'm guessing it's damaged. You see, that three time that I'm giving them is not a good thing because. There's nothing for them to do, per se, which is bad. Right, okay, so... In conclusion to this so far, we've had a tricky, somewhat bad first day to the prison, or second day, whatever. Something of which we can probably, you know, improve on in the future, but as for... It's generally staying alive is quite an achievement for myself when we're building prisons anyway. That's usually something which I don't manage to achieve. So, you know, usually... My uh, prisons seem to die a lot. You know, I, I can build the most awesome prisons ever. And yet, for some reason, people die. People die and people get hurt a lot. Because, I don't know, and that's the prisoner being released there, so he's gone. So we've got 19 now, so we've got three cells free. And there we go. So we got a lot more from license plates now today. Um, that today, today, yesterday, whatever. So we can actually have a doctor now to start seeing people. Salary is quite expensive. But it's something we're going to have to do. So we get a doctor in here. His name Poo. Wait, wait, wait. Whose name was Poo? Did anyone see Poo? Or was that Poo on the floor? I saw Poo. I don't know if it's just me. It might just be me. But I saw poo. I don't even know if I'm seeing things now. This is getting quite um, concerning. Oh, God. The danger level is increasing again. And on that bombshell, I leave you guys. And I will be back with another video later on. No, oh, wait. Next week with this prison architect. God damn it. There's going to be another, right? I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.